Hello everyone, it's me Roselyn and I'm here to talk all about uh, MRV sleep. Um, sorry if hindi mo na ako magpapakita kasi I'm not feeling well but um, there are people who asking me to make a video regarding MRV sleep. Uh, what is MRV sleep? and para saan ang MRV sleep okay so ang MRV sleep or USB sa fee deposit sleep ito yung document or a piece of paper that you need to bring kapag nagbayad kayo sa BPI um, ito yung deposit sleep na makikita nyo yung date, how much yung babayaran nyo in Philippine Peso, the expiration date, which is the expiration date, it means um, hanggang November 30, 2016 lang itong MRV slip na to. Once na nag-expired na, kailangan nyo ulit um, ng another MRV slip. Ang tingin ko, kaya may expiration date because the uh, visa fee, yung visa fee kasi, US dollar siya. And if I'm not mistaken, the visa fee is 265 US dollars and uh, nagbabago yung exchange rate niya. So, as to date, ang um, conversion ng 265 US dollars is 13,250 and meron ding receipt number dito sa MRV slip okay so what is MRV? MRV means machine readable visa okay so If you already have your NBC case number, that's the time for you to pay for your K-1 visa fee. You have two options. First, pay online through Bank of the Philippine Islands. Pero hindi ko pa kasi siya na try through online. So, hindi ko may explain sa inyo. But the second one is pay the K-1 visa fee at any BPI branch. Yun yung ginawa ko nung nagbayad ako ng visa fee ko. Okay. So, what do you need in order to pay for the K-1 visa fee at BPI branch? There are three important things to bring to your BPI branch. Okay, first one is your passport, a valid and unexpired passport. Some tellers may or may not require identification when paying the visa fee. If they do ask, the teller would ask for your unexpired passport. Okay, the second one is the K-1 visa fee payment which is 265 US dollars um, convert to Philippine peso. So, malalaman nyo yun dito sa MRV slip kung how much in Philippine peso yung babayaran ninyo. Okay, the third one is your MRV deposit slip which is eto. Ito siya. Ito yung kailangan yung dalhin sa BPI. Okay, so how to pay the K-1 visa fee at BPI? First, bring the three necessary items that I mentioned a while ago, which is the passport, unexpired passport, K-1 visa fee payment, and the MRV deposit slip. Then next, go to your nearest BPI branch. Ah, sorry. <laughs> then next, use the BPI Express Assist Terminal, also known as the Touch Screen BEA Bea Terminal. 
and proceed with selecting your banking transaction type and payment category which is the US visa okay ito yung machine sa BPI and then itatap nyo lang siya to start and then mayroong mga option doon kung ano yung babayaran ninyo just look for US visa then when you're done BEA will give you a number this is to facilitate an easier number queuing at BPI branch then after that your number will be called and or flash on the queuing monitor then um, kapag yung number nyo na yung nag-flash screen or tinawag na yung number nyo you need to present the MRV deposit slip and pay the necessary fees if asked present your passport okay so ibibigay nyo tong um, MRV deposit slip plus yung cash which is 13,250 plus yung passport ninyo okay then after that the teller will give you back the customer copy of the MRV deposit slip after they printed the transaction the transaction info at the back okay so ito yung bank copy and then ito yung customer copy ito yung customer copy na ibabalik sa inyo ito yung sa inyo and then magpiprint sila like this one yan okay so ito yung customer copy ko binayaran ko lang before is 12,720 noong August 5 but since tumaas na yung exchange rate mas malaki na yung babayaran ninyo ngayon then ito yung um, pin, pin print nila na transaction info na binayaran ka na siya okay and then with the receipt number that receipt number Okay, huwag nyo yung ipapakita sa iba yung receipt number ninyo kasi gagamitin nyo yan pag nag-set kayo ng appointment ninyo, ng interview appointment. Kasi pag pinakita nyo receipt number ninyo and then um, kunin ng iba, ihak ng iba bago pa kayo makapag-set um, ng interview appointment nyo. So, Sorry na lang, di ba? Di magbabayad pa kayo ulit. Okay, so wag nyong iwawala ito. Okay, wag nyong iwawala ito kasi hinahanap ito sa uh, US Embassy Manila kapag sa interview nyo. Kukunin nila yung original copy nito. So ako, pinotocopy ko lang siya para meron akong documents. Okay, so that's it. So, after nyong magbayad, wait for about 4 to 8 hours. And then, you will be able to proceed to the next step, which is to schedule your K-1 visa online. So, so that's it. It was easy. So, yun lang naman ang MRV slip documents lang siya na ibibigay nyo sa BPI and kung magkano yung amount na babayaran ninyo and then the receipt number na kailangan ninyo for uh, para makapag appointment kayo ng interview nyo so that's it, I hope nakatulong ako sa inyo guys just like my video if you like it of course <laughs> And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more um, visa interview and um, what do you call it? I'm sorry, wala na ako sa wish you. Uh, for more videos regarding K1 fiancé visa. Okay, good luck everyone. If you have any questions, violent reaction, just feel free 
to comment on my video okay good luck everyone thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>